Hey everybody. <laughs> Where's Shasta? Shasta! Oh, I don't know where she's at, but I don't know. Um I don't know, man. This, this is kind of gonna be a personal vlog, but you know, my my for me, my my channel is kind of like a diary. Yet people can open it up and see it. I mean, I ain't a, I ain't afraid to share my my personal life or whatever's going on. Uh, a lot of people are, but I I, I ain't. Um, but I don't know. There's this, you know, I've known her since I was seventeen. Yes, we we went through like a break, a long break where we didn't really talk at all. Mm. She had gone through some relationships. I've gone through many relationships. Um, I can never grasp on and hold on to somebody. Um, I, I, what I'm really trying to do right now is get bet myself better back on track and, and you know, f I shouldn't even be thinking about finding somebody right now. But <laughs> this time in my life, it's just so damn lonely, you know, I've, I've, um, let go, I, cause I, I've gotten rid of all, um, crapola friends in my life, do they, are, it's most of those ones I am envious of, they're, they're like, it's so grand, so great, they got the car, they got the house, they got the kids, they got the perfect ideal husband, everything's fine, and they, they just say over and over how much they are so glad to live every day. Well, I'm like, I'm happy for you. I'm really happy. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to come visit you. I'm going to come visit you. Never do. Not for years. And then they still don't. So, you know, um, I don't know. I don't have any friends. I only have one. And I don't know whether to just keep her as a best friend like it is. Because I would hate to lose her as a best friend. But I don't know. I think I should just be friends with her. But I don't know. There's something else about her. Um, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to lose her, I really don't, so, I'm just lonely, you know, um, I don't know what it is I want, or, or not that I want, it's something I need, I'm lacking something, it's like, I'm doing really good right now, um, I'm doing all, all my probation like I'm supposed to, I haven't been drinking, I'm on my meds, hey man, I'm, I'm doing good for right now. Um, but I feel like I need a little push or something, um, and I have it on this one particular being, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, I am in love with her, I love her, <laughs> um, but, and when she talks about, you know, going to clubs and seeing hot girls and stuff. I know she's kind of hinting that she's like, Tiff, you know, I love you, but <laughs> it just hurts. Um, and another problem with me is my entire life I've moved on from one relationship to another, and I, I'm used to that. And it's really unhealthy. And I want to know how to stop myself from being that way. Just giving my heart out. Because that's what's made me so bitter over the years. I have gotten downright bitter and careless in relationships. Because of uh, being mistreated. I mean, after my very first girlfriend. Um, I don't know. She It totally crushed me. <laughs> I mean, after I lost her, that's when my heavy drinking started, and um, it just ruined 
everything for me. Um, I pro it probably would have happened anyway because alcoholism runs in my family, and I don't really know where this blog's going. It's just I'm just lonely, <laughs> real lonely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm, you know, always letting people down and I just feel like maybe I'm a bad person or something, you know. <clears throat> Because, you know, I'm like Jek Jekyll and Hyde on when I'm on alcohol and when I'm off of it. I'm really trying, man. Because I know if I go back to that bottle, <laughs> that's going to be it. I mean, that's that's it's going to be it, man. For me, I'm history once I get back to drinking. And I guess that's what's keeping me sober, man. I've been, thing is though, I've been doing these energy drinks and they make me, I'm worried it's going to affect my heart and stuff, you know. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just lonely. Um, no one ever comes to see me. Uh, I, I would love, you know, I I even offer, you know, I'd take, I'd take, taxi cab rides to AA just so I can see this person I'm in love with uh, at AA just we, we don't even really get to visit we're just there at the meeting and I sit beside her and you know I bring her little gifts sometimes and I don't know it's just I don't have nobody in my life and but yet you know, I know there's people out there that have hundreds of people, and they wish they would go away, and uh, and they are and they're still lonely. So I don't know what it is. I got my cat. I figured my cat. You know, actually, Zsa, Zsa really has helped me. Um, but you know, I should just be lucky that um, I'm not incarcerated. I'm just, I don't know, man, I, I feel very emotional <laughs> tonight, um, and I'm crying, and I know it's something deep down that's bothering me, because it's more than loneliness, it's something, I don't know, I can't put, pinpoint my, my, um, what it is, I just, feel I'm overlooked. <laughs> Very overlooked. Because of, I don't know, my attitude and how I present myself. I don't know. Can you get in my brain? <laughs> I don't even know. I know what I'm talking about, but it's just something deep. Even when I was drinking, I never had drinking buddies. Drugs, same thing, was alone. Just alone. Alone.